To the war in Ukraine, the U.S. is working to get more weapons into the hands of Ukrainian fighters. But Russia is warning that doing so could have consequences. CBS Force Carla Henry has more details from the White House. Smoke billowed upward as firefighters battled a blaze at a train station in Krasny, which is in southwestern Ukraine. Russia's defense ministry says it's used high-precision missiles to target railways used to deliver foreign weapons to Ukraine fighters. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov accused the U.S. and NATO of using Ukraine for a proxy war against Russia. And he delivered a stark warning that the West should not underestimate the, quote, very significant risk of nuclear war. That kind of rhetoric is very dangerous and unhelpful. Um, nobody uh, wants to see a nuclear war happen. happen. It's a war that, you know, where, where all sides lose. The U.S. has no plans to stop supporting Ukraine. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, fresh off a trip to Kyiv this weekend, is on Capitol Hill today asking Congress to approve money to send more weapons to Ukraine. Fully funding it is critical, in my judgment, to ensuring that Russia's war in Ukraine is a strategic failure for the Kremlin and serves as a powerful lesson to those who might consider following its path. And Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is in Germany, coordinating with more than 40 allies on how to keep the weapons flowing into Ukraine. We provided our assistance at record speed. And the whole world can see the difference that's making on the battlefield. You know, Putin never imagined that the world would rally behind Ukraine so swiftly and surely. Germany, which so far has avoided sending heavy weapons to assist in the war, announced at the meeting that it will now deliver armored anti-aircraft vehicles directly to Ukraine. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And this morning, Ukraine's foreign minister said that Ukraine will win the war and said doing so will stop Russia from future aggression. He went on to say, quote, we will pay the price for the safety of the world, but we are not ready to do so because it's also the price for our own independence, end quote.